Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to look at ways that you can put audio streaming into some of these older Mercedes. So if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Really hope you enjoy it. And if you like this kind of content with my own cars, this gorgeous 2011 CL500, a cute little MG midget from 1970, and a Maserati Gran Turismo from 2013, it'd be great to have you as a subscriber. So most cars after about 2010, 2012, used to have um, audio streaming uh, built in. Um, but some of these cars, uh, especially some of the earlier uh, versions, had uh, facilities for iPods and things like that, but they didn't allow you to uh, do audio streaming. Uh, they allowed you to connect your phone for Bluetooth uh, for, to make phone calls, but it wouldn't allow you to um, stream audio. So in this video, we're gonna look at how on some of the older style Mercedes, we can actually uh, improve the system so you can um, stream audio through your existing uh, hi-fi system. So in a lot of cars of this vintage, um, they had what's called the MMI interface, which is this kind of plug here. Um, it's shared between Mercedes and Audi and I think some other brands as well, but well, I'm not sure that the pins are the same. I don't think they're interchangeable. But there is a socket in the glove box up there, uh, which accepts these kind of cables. And these came with different ends on them. So this one, for example, has a 30 pin iPod connector. There's another one here, which has a USB um, socket on it for a, like a memory stick. And there's this one here, which has um, just a, a three and a half millimeter uh, socket for just plugging an audio device in there. So you could choose what um, accessory you wanted to uh, plug in by choosing the correct cable. The problem with this, of course, is that not many people use the old style 30 pin um, iPods anymore or iPhones. Um, so you're not able to um, connect a modern iPhone. And in any case, you don't want to have to put it in your uh, glove box. Um, so there's a company called Bovi, which produced this device here. It's called the Tune to Air by Bovi, and it actually comes with one of these um, MMI plugs on the other end. So it's a pretty much a plug and play solution. And this is a Bluetooth device that you can connect to your uh, phone, um, which you can have um, in a cradle on the windscreen or in your pocket or whatever, and um, it will provide uh, Bluetooth connectivity. So once that's plugged in there, you can see it's flashing as it's connecting. I'll just turn on the ignition here. So if you go into audio, you can see that you have to select the, me the media interface and that will um, activate the uh, Bluetooth dongle in there. And then you can pair it with your phone. Now there's one really important trick that you need to know here is that if you just plug in the Bovi connector and um, try and stream uh, from your iPhone, if you don't have any songs in the actual music app, which is the Apple Music app. So I have intentionally deleted everything in my Apple Music app. And you can see that the head unit does not recognize uh, the iPhone. And I can't play anything through the iPhone uh, from any other app, even though it looks like it's connected. If I try and play, it refuses to play. I'm trying to play through TuneIn Radio now, and it says no playable files. And that is because the head unit is expecting to see an iPod connected to the interface. And if you don't have any songs in your Apple Music app on your phone, you won't get any uh, playable files. It won't connect and it won't be able, you won't be able to stream audio. You need to have one song in your um, Apple Music app. So if you um, 
download just one song even if you don't use apple music i had to do one so i downloaded one of these nature songs so unplug the bovi connect it back in again wait for it to sync and connect with your device and once you've got that single song in there which is just obviously just sound once you've got that one song playing through um, apple music you can then go into any other app that you like like um, tune in radio joined by expert historians and, and it will start playing that um, it will still give you the information about the um the apple music um uh, track there so you won't see the actual track information um but and you won't be able to control your phone music from here unfortunately but it does allow you uh to um actually uh, play through other apps not just Apple Music so that is the real trick that you need to uh, know you need to have at least one song in the Apple Music uh, app to allow you to use um, other uh, streaming services and get them to work through the Bovi system on your car so I hope you enjoyed this quick video just explaining how you can get to music audio streaming uh, in your older generation uh, Mercedes-Benz. Um, that little trick of having one uh, song in the uh, music app was something that I struggled with for ages until I discovered how to do it. And as soon as it started playing through the music app, I was able to switch to other apps like Spotify or TuneIn Radio or anything like that. So it really does allow you to stream any app, but you just need that one trick to get it to work. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to smash that like. It'd be great to have you as a subscriber. And hit that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram down here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.